exactly do you define, you know, maintenance, reliability, optimization? Why is it important? And yeah, you know, I'd be curious about, you know, some of the things you've learned along the way when you focus so much on this core problem around optimization. When I'm thinking about maintenance optimization, I'm thinking about minimizing the total cost of ownership or the life cycle cost of the asset. R- reliability does have interplay with, with maintenance. Sometimes people think they're connected, but there is there is some connection there and there is some disconnect because reliability, you usually have to pay for. Uh, you pay for that upfront in design. Uh, you pay for, pay for it in redundancy. Uh, you pay for it in, in the rigor of your maintenance plans. In order to know how you should execute your maintenance in the, in the cheapest way possible, you really have to understand the criticality of your asset. And I've seen lots of uh, creative ways that different companies assign criticalities to their a- assets, but it's usually on some sort of high, medium, or low system. But understanding the criticalities of your assets helps you, helps you to know what reliability you're shooting for or targeting. And then you adjust your, your maintenance program around that. So you're, you're, you're trying to balance two different drivers uh, when you're optimizing maintenance. You want to lower the cost while also achieving that reliability target. And sometimes they can be in contradiction. Uh, so it, it takes some creative ways to get there. But in a nutshell, that's what you're trying to do. The highest risk, most critical, uh, coupled with the lowest cost. And, and you, those are, that's kind of how you prioritize what you do. Uh, and ultimately, like you mentioned, optimize both cost savings and also you know, reliability uptime.